a Java developer in coding tutor. Now I'm going to explain about soft delete using a real time scenario. And for this, I have created a service student. And in this service, I have, I have created a few packages. And this is the main class. And this is pom.xml. In pom.xml, I have uh, written few dependencies. Uh, Spring Data JPA. Spring Data JPA used to uh, simplify database access using JPA. And Spring Web. Spring, Spring Web, Spring Web used to build web applications using REST APIs. Spring Boot DevTools. It is used to restart our application when we made any specific changes. Uh, MySQL connector used to uh, connect our application to the database. And Lombok. Lombok is used to reduce the boilerplate code. And this is the entity class. And in this entity class, I have write a uh, few annotations at the rate entity. At the rate entity is used to create a table in the database using the class name and using these fields as the columns in the table and I have write a uh, few annotations like at the rate setter, getters, uh, nor constructor and allow constructor user to reduce the boilerplate code and after entity I have wrote a uh, repository layer it is an interface it extends JPA repository because it has uh, inbuilt methods like uh, CRUD operations and it and also have a uh, pagination sorting and after that i have wrote a uh, service layer in the service layer i have this is the main class because it has all the uh, business logic so i am used dependency injection for this and this is the i wrote this is the method user to save a record in the database of the uh, of the of the student so I have created an object for the student entity by using this reference we are creating the record in the database and this is the method uh, to get all to get the to get all the all the records in the database get all students and this is the method like when we want to fetch a particular a particular record in the database by id so we can get by using this method get by id so here uh, when an, when a student is not there by the specific id we are, which we are given it will throw an exception uh, student not found with this id and when we want to put, uh, update a particular particular record we can update so for this we have to give give the id so the ID which were given it is not there uh, it will throw an exception called student not found with this ID if the if this ID is there so the ID which we are given is present in the database we can update the student details and this is the soft delete and which and I will explain it later by the end of this code so this is the controller layer in this controller layer I have wrote uh, the request mapping like when we have multiple controllers so this particular URI uh, when we give in the postman it, it, it will uh, get into this particular uh, controller so I have automated the student service and in this controller layer I have wrote a few restful APIs at the rate post mapping, at the rate get mapping and put mapping and at the rate delete mapping this restful APIs uh, perform specific tasks like at the rate post mapping uses it to uh, create a data in the database so when we give this URI in the uh, postman, we can create the record in the database. And when we want to get, uh, when we want to fetch all the records from the database, we can give this URI get all. And when we want to fetch a particular record using an ID, uh, we can fetch the record uh, by using this uh, URI get by ID. So when we want to uh, update a record by using an ID, we have to give uh, at the rate put mapping so we can we can update it so now i am so now i am going to run the applications from the main class so 
so uh, the application is started successfully uh, now i'm going to see the table is created or not so in application or properties we have given this uh, this is the table name and we have to give our uh, database credentials so the table is created and we have to uh, create the record so now i am going to create a record in the database and I have, for this i have used a uh, post and this is the this is the url and this is the uri and we have to give it in the form of json data only and i'm sending it the status is okay and the data is saved in the database so now i created five records in the database i'm going to check whether the details are uh, saved or not in the database so, this is the class name and the records are successfully saved in the database uh, that the records which i have given and now I am going to perform different operations like get all students and every time we have to give uh, we have to change this API like when we want to save the save it we have to use post and when now I am going to get all the students so I am so I am so I am using the get API so now I am able to see the all the records And get by id so so when i want to fetch a particular record based on id for example i have given two so now i will get the records uh, the student which is holding the id number two and i'm going to update a student id two and and I'm changing uh, Vijay to Vijay Kumar Chennai address so it is updated from Vijay to Vijay Kumar and the address uh, sits to Chen uh, Chennai so now I um, so now I am going to do soft delete so soft delete means when we create a record in the database it will it will not be deleted when we delete the record but it will get inactive uh, I am soft deleting the id uh, 2 to 5 so now I am going to soft delete the id 2 ID number 2 so here I am soft deleting the student ID 2 student is soft deleted successfully so when I am going to fetch all the students the ID 2 will not be visible see uh, we are getting the records in the database student ID 1 3 4 5 but we are not getting the ID 2 it is deleted but we can see still in the database so the records which are uh, deleted or inactive we will get here uh, one 